and discipline, a bench press. Unlike the able-bodied sport where athletes use their feet on the floor to assist the bench press, Paralympic athletes lie totally flat on a completely different style of bench. Each competitor has two minutes to complete their attempt. When the lifter has the bar under full control, they must wait until they receive the command, start. Then they have to lower the bar in a controlled manner and definitively stop it on the chest. Next, they press it upwards, lock out both elbows simultaneously and hold the bar under control until the referees command to wrap. At least two white lights are required from three referees for a good lift. A red light indicates a bad lift. Athletes have three attempts and the winner is the athlete that lifts the heaviest weight. In the third round, two weight changes are permitted. The weight change can be higher or lower. No changes are allowed if the lifter has already been called to the platform by the speaker and or if the bar has already been loaded. To attempt a new record, it must exceed the previous one set by a minimum of 0.5 kilograms. Where a world record is broken during the actual three lifts of competition, the 0.5 kilograms does not count towards the competition total but is rounded down to the full kilogram. The jury may allow a fourth attempt for a world record. This adds suspense to the competition, as a lifter could break the world record, but may not win gold. Powerlifting offers a tense and dramatic spectacle, where coaches have to be good strategists as their athletes battle to outlift their rivals. kilograms and in the men's up to 80 to 97 kilograms we have the competitors Diego Javier Flores Amarilla from Paraguay from, and we have Ahmed Razam Azar from Georgia we have Victoriano Mendoza Gonzalez from Panama we have Francisco Palomque Palosios from Colombia we have Jesus Rodriguez Vallejo from Dominican Republic and the hometown hero. This athlete, for those who might not know, is a two-time World Cup medalist. He goes by the name of Fabio Torres, ladies and gentlemen. So those will be our competitors for today. Our referees for today's match are as follows. The chief referee is Andre Opikum. The right referee is Ekaterina Lisova. The left referee is Tibor Gierko. The president of the jury is Beatrice Vasquez from Mexico. Jury number one is Jenny Ortiz Cardenas from Colombia. 
Jury number two from Hungary is Zita Girenko. And jury number three, Mahmoud El Shabeni from Egypt. The technical delegate is Jenny Ortiz Cardenas. 10 second countdown till we fire off the final day three of the Bogota World Cup. Three, two, one. Are you ready? First boom, power lifting. Our first athlete. For their first attempt. Representing Paraguay, Diego Javier Flores Amarilla. No lift. His first attempt of 90 kilograms is a no lift. It was the lift chest sequence that resulted in the no lift. We're gonna take a look at the replay to see exactly where it came in. The lifters get three attempts. This was the first of 90 kilograms we watch here on the replay. The bar goes down very smooth, one motion, but just that bit of a pause on the way up where the bar was just a bit uneven and a bump, that'd be enough for the lift sequence to cause the no lift. Up next from Dominican Republic, our next lifter. Jesus Rodriguez Vallejo. You will be attempting 140 kilograms. So as you can see, the lifters get strapped in just to make sure that there's no extra movement. And in order to get a good lift, it has to be one smooth motion down and up. Let's see if Jesus can get it right. Oh. 
That looks like a good lift for Dominican Republic's very own Jesus Manuel Rodriguez Vallejo. 140 kilograms, making it look easy. Let's check out that replay. Our next athlete lifting. Representing Panama, we have Victoriano Mendoza Gonzalez. He will be attempting 141 kilograms. He first took up the sport in 2016 in Panama. The name of his coach, Joaquin Salazar. His international debut was in 2016, competing for Panama at the World Cup in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Now let's see what the judges call on this one. It's a good lift. That's a good lift. For Panama's very own Victoriano Mendoza Gonzalez. Making look that 141 kilos look easy. Let's check out that replay one more time to see exactly how Victoriano got that good lift. Representing Georgia, Ahmed Razan Azar. Our next athlete representing Georgia, Ahmed Razan Azar. Languages spoke are Azerbaijani. He resides in Baku, Azerbaijan. He will be attempting 180 kilograms. No lift. Let's check out the replay.
It seems like it was a no-lip sequence. Right here when the bar went down in one motion, just that pause and hesitation before it went up, that would be enough for a no lift. You want to have a smooth motion down, the same way down, the same way up. Our next athlete. From the home country of Colombia, Francisco Palomque Palacios. Fun fact about Francisco, he finished first place in the 2019 Lima Peru World Cup at the Para Pan American Games. He also finished first place in his first competition internationally in Chile in 2014 at the South American Para Games. Francisco was a veteran putting 185 kilograms on the bar. See what the judges call on this one. It's a good lift for Francisco Palomeque Palacios. That's impressive. 185 kilograms. Not even in my wildest dreams can I imagine lifting that. And he makes it look easy. Let's look at that replay again on that good lift. Smooth transition on the way down. Same thing on the way up. Wow. 185 kilograms. That's impressive. Representing the home country of Colombia. Making everyone in Colombia proud with that last lift. And now, ladies and gentlemen. Up next. We have Fabio Torres, the home favorite, the two time world champion medalist, Fabio Torres. with all those accolades he has all of the weight on the bar 218 kilograms for those of you at home trying to do the math on your calculators I'll save you the work he's lifting 480.61 pounds I repeat, ladies and gentlemen, 218 kilograms converts to 480.61 pounds. Let's see how he does. Two-time world medalist representing the home country of Colombia. All eyes on Mr. Fabio Torres. Look! Look! Ah! 
No lift. No lift. We're going to check out that replay. See what the judges might have saw. It was a no lift chest sequence was the exact reason for the no lift. We'll see what we see on the replay on this one. See here, the bar goes down clean. The sway of the bar, just as it lifted off the chest, would be enough to warrant a no lift. Don't forget, this is a very technical sport, and it has to be done the right way in order to get the good lift from the judges. But that's not without saying a phenomenal effort for Mr. Torres. 480 pounds. It's not the last we'll see of him today. He has two more attempts. Representing Paraguay with his second attempt of 90 kilograms, Diego Javier Flores Amarilla. So for those of you at home, a little bit of information. The Powerlifting World Cup in Bogota 2021 has 14 countries and 43 athletes participating. The event is being carried out under strict measures, which include a biosafety bubble for the athletes, coaches, judges, and organizing team members, and remaining there until the end of the World Cup. This event is also a part of the events with a qualification route to the Tokyo Paralympic Games, the big show, the Olympics. Second attempt for Diego Javier Flores Amarilla, 90 kilograms. That's a no lift by the jet by again on the second attempt. Let's check out that replay, see if we can see anything on it. It was a no lift chest sequence. The judges called on that one. Bar goes down, smooth, clean. Just before it went up, if you noticed, there was just a bit of a sway off the chest. That'd be enough to warn a no lift. Up next from the Dominican Republic, we have Jesus Rodriguez Vallejo. He will be attempting 141 kilograms. That equates to 310 pounds on the bar.
attempt will be one kilogram more than his first attempt of 140 kilograms. That's a good lift for Jesus Manuel Rodriguez Paleo. Making 310 pounds look easy. Let's check out the replay. Our next athlete representing Panama, Victorio Mendoza Gonzalez, looking to lift 142 kilograms, one kilogram more than his previous attempt. His most memorable achievement was finishing fourth at the 2016 World Cup event in Rio de Janeiro during his international debut. That's a no lift for Victoriano Mendoza Gonzalez. It was a no lift press sequence was the reason of the no lift. Let's check out the replay. Bar goes down, touches the chest. Just that bit of hesitation at the end. The right arm higher than the left. That'd be enough to cause a no lift. Representing Georgia, our next athlete, Ahmed Razum Azar. His second attempt, 180 kilograms. The pair of athletes who compete will be able to improve their position in the world rankings of each category and be in the first eight places of this cup, being able to qualify for the Paralympic Games. Second attempt right here for Georgia's very own Ahmed Razam Azar, 180 kilograms.
that's 396 pounds on the bar. That's a no lift for Ahmed Razam Azar. He has one more attempt. It was a no lift press sequence as we see here on the replay. The bar held down a little bit long, just not as smooth on the way up as it was down. And that'll be enough to cause a no lift. Up next, representing the home country of Colombia, we have Francisco Palomeque Palacios. He will be attempting 192 kilograms, seven more than his first at home. How much is that in pounds? That is a whopping 423 pounds on the bar. Wow. Both of me on each side of the bar, like one of me on each side of the bar, and it's still not as heavy as the bar that he's lifting. That's a no lift for Francisco Tulio Palomeque Palacios. It is a no lift press sequence as we saw on the last three athletes as well. On this replay, we'll see exactly where the no lift sequence came into play. Up next, we got the hometown hero representing Colombia, Fabio Torres. He is looking to get back to lifting the 218 kilograms. That's 480 pounds for those at home wondering again how much that is. Fabio Torres. He took up the sport at the sanitation battalion of the Colombian army in Bogota, Colombia. And he, banned, he began competing in 2009. Why this sport? He said he used to play football before his accident. After losing his leg, he tried sitting volleyball, swimming, and athletics, but started to focus on powerlifting. I have always enjoyed lifting weights.
good lift by the strongman, Fabio Torres. Wow. He made 480 pounds look like. I wouldn't even say me lifting water bottles. I don't even make lifting water bottles look that easy. And I'm talking about the small 500 milliliter water bottles. Not, not, like he makes it look easier than that. Wow, let's look at this replay. Smooth on the way down. Smooth on the way up. Impressive. Very impressive. This is the two-time, I repeat, two-time world champion, Colombia's very own Fabio Torres. With his third attempt of 90 kilograms, we have Diego Javier Flores Amarilla representing Paraguay. The para-athlete must accomplish try to obtain a place in the Paralympic Games. We'll go over those criteria after this lift. It looks like we have some discussion from the judges before this lift and the officials just making sure everything is okay and correct. Looks like we have just a tiny bit of a delay. Now, getting back to my point about some of the criteria that the athletes will need. Ooh. It looks like there is a technicality. We'll see if we're able to get back to you on exactly why and what had happened. Returning for his third attempt after spinning the block. Number, we have Paraguay's very own Diego Javier Flores Amarilla.
That's a good lift for Diego Javier Flores Amarilla. Third time's a charm, as they say. Fantastic focus and effort by Diego. After getting two no lifts back to back, to be able to come back with the focus, to get it done. After being delayed on your lift for a technicality, you have to go around the block and back, be able to maintain that focus. You know, hats off to these athletes. This is why they're here at the World Cup in Bogota, the biggest stage, is because they're able to maintain that mental focus. Let's look at the replay here. Smooth down, smooth up. Correcting his mistakes from his last two lifts. Great work. Representing Panama, we have Victorio Mendoza Gonzalez. Looking for his third attempt to lift 142 kilograms. He attempted 142 kilograms on his second attempt and got a no lift. He will be attempting 313 pounds. Three hundred thirteen point zero five six, if you want to be exact. Victoriano Mendoza Gonzalez lifting his third attempt of 142 kilograms. That's a no lift on the third attempt by Victoriano Mendoza Gonzalez. Let's see the replay. Bar goes down smooth. And just that bit of a pause halfway three quarter through will be enough to get you the no lift. Up next, representing the Dominican Republic, Jesus Manuel Rodriguez Valeo. Looking for the trifecta here at Bogota 2021 on day three. You can see the focus in his eyes. This young man is moving with a purpose, looking to lift 151 kilograms, 11 more kilograms on his first attempt. And he's looking to lift 330. 2.898 pounds. He's focused. He's ready. That's a good lift! 3-4-3 three, three for Dominican Republic's very own Jesus Manuel Rodriguez Vallejo!
making 332.898 pounds look easy. Let's check out that replay to see how he got that done. Smooth on the way down. Explosive control on the way up. Exactly what the judges like to see. Excellent work by Dominican Republic's very own. Jesus Manuel. Representing Georgia for his third attempt of 180 kilograms, Ahmed Razam Azar. That's a good lift for Georgia's very own Ahmed Razam Azar. Third time is a charm, 180 kilograms. For those at home rushing to grab your calculators, that is 396.832 pounds. Smooth down, smooth up. Excellent form. What the judges like to see gets you a good lift every time. Representing Colombia, Francisco Tulio Palomeque Palacios. His third attempt of 197 kilograms. That's a no lift. We'll check out the replay to see what happened on that one. It was a no lift chest sequence was the official reason of the no lift. Ladies and gentlemen, our final lifter of the category this evening.
Senior Fabio Torres looking to lift 228 kilograms. That is 502 pounds. 502.654 pounds to be correct. In 2008, he lost the lower part of his left leg after stepping on a mine while serving with the Colombian Army. He received acknowledgement from the Colombian Army in recognition for his part in the 2016 Paralympic Games in Rio de Janeiro. Most influential person in his career is coach Henry Oviedo. His most memorable sporting achievement in the 97 kilogram category at the 2017 World Cup Mexico City was claiming bronze. Ladies and gentlemen, Colombia's very own hero, two-time world champion, Fabio Torres. That's a no lift. But I said it yesterday and I'll see it again. There was no better sight to see than a smile on the athletes' faces, even after a no lift. Just the opportunity to be at the World Cup after not getting a chance to compete for a whole year since February 2020 in Manchester. Now getting the chance to compete here in Bogota 2021 World Cup. And imagine being your home country and your name is Mr. Fabio Torres. He did lift 220 kilograms previously, which is an astonishing feat. It is now time for the victory ceremony.
Dominican Republic, Jesus Rodriguez Vallejo. Our bronze medalist representing Dominican Republic, we have Jesus Manuel Rodriguez Vallejo. Representing Georgia, we have Ahmed Razam Azar. And our gold medalist from Colombia for the men's up to 80 kilograms, Francisco Tulio Palomeque Palacios. There's probably no prouder feeling in the world outside of seeing your children being born than receiving a gold medal in your home country. I might say that might even be tied. I haven't had a chance to win a gold medal, but I'm sure it probably is close to the same feeling. So happy to see that for Francisco Tulio Palomeque Palacios. And your gold medalist for men up to 87 kilograms, Mr. Fabio Torres. Correction, up to 97 kilograms. Proud military man salutes his flag, which he sacrificed his body for, and returned to them a gold medal. More than once. Oh, 
That's so cool. She got me the pick.